I actually found this overflow late in the afternoon on the 6th. It had gotten too dark by the end to take photos, so I came back the next morning and got the following clips. In this clip, you can look and see where it has been several feet higher in the chain link fence and has actually washed all of the dirt out from under one of the fence posts. You can see the concrete used to anchor the pole about four feet above the water. This didn't just happen, nor was it contained. By the second morning, it had changed colors and there was a more chemical odor to it. Again, you can see the sewage going directly underground. This is not contained, it's going somewhere. Kimberly Michael was quoted as saying that all of the sewage had been contained in a hole in the area. This is day three and I ask you, is this contained? Day four, it seemed to slow down and change color. It turned more gray than black. It was still flowing freely under the fence and into the hole on the I-59 right-of-way. Somebody had to know where this was going. One estimate had the overflow amount at around 500 gallons. Watching these video clips, I would say that it was more like 500 gallons an hour. I found the overflow on the 6th. These clips were taken on the 12th, the day that they finally got the bypass complete. That's at least six days that we know of that it ran like this.